Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dana Perez and welcome to another week in NYC with me. I'm literally wearing this dress every time I vlog, so you know I like it. It's actually from Everlane. It's a really pretty midi dress with this black and white pattern. I think it works perfectly because it's like we're transitioning on to fall, but it's still like really hot outside. So it's like the perfect middle ground dress. But anyway, I actually headed out of the house because I'm going downtown to Soho to check out some Spanx new arrival. I went to their spring preview in New York so they're doing a fall winter preview which I'm really excited for because I love like fall winter clothing I love boots I love jackets I love shackets jeans denim I love all fall things so this is my favorite season personally <laughs> This is Nolita, north of Little Italy, but it's so cute. There's like so many boutiques here, like florals. Like look how cute this little old meat and poultry shop is. They have some like memorabilia photos. It's just so cute. I love it. They're not open right now, but I'm sure it's like really cool and old inside. Thanks event and I got this really cute little bouquet of flowers isn't that so cute and by the way my called fire alarm battery is out and it's been making this beeping noise I have to change that immediately because it's so annoying but look how cute these flowers are so basically what happens out of previews that I will go through new things that are coming out some of the things that I saw are coming out either <laughs> so annoying either in september or october there are so many cute things so i'm really really excited to see all of the new spanx things coming in my favorite bra Luya bra that i wore in florence i'm just like obsessed with that bra it's coming out in more colors and it's also coming out in this beautiful like cho chocolate brown color so quality of spanx also is just so spot on they solve like fashion problems for example they have a button-up shirt and it's like faux buttons so if like you have problems fitting in like a white button down and it gaps and your like boobs are showing they have come out with like a solution that eliminates any gaping so i will leave that link down below if it's still if it's available now but so genius so i actually was in wisconsin for about a week and i just got my packages in so i'm going to share with you some new things i ordered some things from abercrombie so you can see some new madewell and i'm really excited because i went to warby parker because my sunglasses eyeglasses prescription was expired and the new glasses are in so let me show you what i got all right so these are my current glasses i love them because they're neutral nude but sometimes i want to wear like a darker frame Maybe some frames that I could wear and they could classify as being a bit more dressy. So I picked these up from Warby Parker and they come with a little cloth. And I ordered this tortoise shell glass. So let's try these on. I also did order some sunglasses. They haven't arrived yet, which I'm like, so they're actually going to be delivered today. So I'm really excited for those because I've never had prescription sunglasses and everyone who's had prescription sunglasses tell me like it's the best thing ever. I don't want to wear contacts every single day, but here are the new pair. How do we like these? I think they're so cute. I realized with Warby Parker, I need the wide lenses. They're like narrow or medium, just like don't look good on me. These are it. I will leave these linked down below if you're like on the hunt for glasses. You can order them online. And I think they have like a virtual try on if you're in the hunt for glasses. And these came out to be 
$80 with prescription. They had like a little discount buy two and you could save a bit more money, but for 80 bucks, I'm excited now to have two pairs so I can like change it up with my mood. So those are the glasses. Then there are some new Madewell pieces. Madewell was kind enough to send these over. I did try their denim. I, you know, I love Abercrombie denim. However, Madewell denim is right up there. They are so comfortable. I like how Madewell denim is a bit lighter weight than Abercrombie. So I'm going to try on these jeans, right? Madewell top and denim. So this is an oversized like button shirt and it has like slits right here. I ordered a size medium versus it has such a casual effortless feel. I think this would look really cute with like legging, running errands. You could like even leave it open, but I do like the slits because it just kind of gives you a different feel and take on a white button down. And the material is actually very, very soft. It feels like it's really well made. And look at this denim. I am obsessing over these. So I went into Madewell just to see like, what is my size? And I tried on every single style Madewell jeans. And my conclusion is that my size is actually a 29 in Madewell. Normally I am a true size 30, but their jeans you can size down in like one size. However though, if the material is a non-stretch 100% denim, stick to your true size, but they're elastane denim you can size down. And this is their perfect straight leg jean. This is in a newer wash. And I and I ordered a tall. So I'm a 29 tall in their denim and the length is just perfect on me. And I honestly feel like these are very, very slimming denim. I just feel like they tuck everything in right here. And I also like how they fit in this like midsection area. It is a bit tighter. So if you notice when you're wearing jeans, like this pops out a lot. This kind of sucks you in. And this is the perfect vintage denim straight leg in a darker like indigo wash. Loving it. These definitely feel a bit more rigid. I know their other jeans have more of like elastane to them, but, and they're not like wide leg. It's like the perfect middle. So you can get on like the wide leg trend. Then they sent over this shacket. I am a shacket girl at heart. I ordered a size down, this is a medium. And this is so cute. It's like a really pretty like brown color. Sometimes I only get jackets in like plaid. But I think this kind of gives it like a more grown up look or just plain if you're just looking for a plain jacket. It's so cute. I'm so excited for fall. Then we have a pure leather jacket. So this is not faux leather. So the price point is definitely up there with leather goods. But the feel of this is buttery soft and it does move to your body. Now this is actually in a size XL. I did size up in this because I wanted it to feel a bit more relaxed versus like a tight jacket. I did try this on in the store and the large fit, but if I zipped it up, it would be really tight. And with fall, winter, you might be wearing a sweater. So I just wanted something that I could wear over thing. I will be living in this this fall. Next are some goodies from Sequin. Sequin is an online jewelry brand. So Sequin sent over all of these fun goodies gosh I'm so excited so I have this gold chunky bracelet then this really pretty like tennis bracelet I think this is like so cute to dress up any outfit or you could wear it every day and it's by size so you can like measure your wrist then this like chunky necklace with a medallion and then just a, another chunky choker necklace loving 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 all of this and they have so many cute styles online and then this package came in if you have seen my last vlog I actually went to this pros event where I got my custom hair care where I took a quiz and from my quiz results they suggested their custom hair care products so let's see what the inside looks like so it's for dana perez they, have, they give you a little review of your custom hair care so my consultation results environmental factors hair and scalp needs my key ingredients this is so cool styling gel my conditioner dry shampoo so everything that you need you can see their ingredients are tailored to your hair needs. So we have a, oh, my name's on it too. Shampoo, conditioner. I got a curl cream for touchable waves with weightless definition. The dry shampoo I'm really excited to try out. And we have a styling gel. So lunchtime, I ordered some Greek food. I'm obsessed with this place. The food really does taste like in Greece. And they always put like French fries in the pita. And I'm going to dig in.
spend a few hours at my house. Going to El Sunny's house, we're gonna make chicken wings and our go-to blood orange spicy mezcal margaritas. We have not made one in the longest, so we're gonna have a little fun. Night at the house and settle in. Back from a very interesting bus ride. Al and I were encountered with a Karen and it was very interesting. So it's so funny because Al said, let's not take the bus. And I was feeling a bit lazy. I wanted to take the bus. And while we were taking the bus, we encountered this lady, AKA a Karen, who accused like me, but said to Al that I was video recording her. And I literally have no footage of this lady in the background of the previous clip. And she was just like verbally attacking us. And I'm like, it is so hard to film. I feel like outside in the streets of New York because there are so many personalities walking along the street. And now I don't want to even take out my camera like on the street because if I'm gonna get accused of like taping someone, which it's just crazy because my camera wasn't even pointing at her. And we have to move on with our day. I just can't believe we would just be in that situation, so. We made it back and now it's time for my favorite mezcal margaritas as I was saying and I'm going to show you how I make it. All right, I have all my ingredients here. So first you need, I'm gonna make two drinks. So this is the recipe for two drinks. I can open this. I make my drinks a bit on the stronger side. So I do two ounces per drink. So I'm gonna do four ounces of mezcal. <laughs> Why can't I balance this? Okay, that's one. Next, I have freshly squeezed lime juice. This is like the biggest thing. If you're gonna make a cocktail at home, squeeze your own lime juice. I'm telling you, it makes the world a difference. So I just squeeze this. We actually squeeze so much juices that we bought an electric juicer and this is um, fresh squeezed orange juice. So I use two ounces of fresh lime for two drinks. So one ounce, if you're just making a drink for yourself. Why am I shaking so bad? And then I will do two ounces of orange juice, freshly squeezed as well. And I'll usually do a little bit more. So that was two ounces. And I'll do a teeny bit more just so it's, let's just make it three ounces. And then sugar. I also don't like really sweet drinks. So I'm just going to do, for two drinks, I'm just gonna do half an ounce. So a tiny bit of sugar just to make it a bit sweet half an ounce and it's time to shake it up i forgot to mention i love having a tahine spicy rim so i'm just going to rim my cocktail glasses all you do is just use like a lime and you just kind of create this like glue, lime glue for your spicy rim. First of all, how festive is that? I think the last time we had this was like in May. We have not had this in forever. All right, margaritas are made. Amazing, These cheers. Look so good. It's been a while. Oh, I missed. I feel mm. Normally when we make it, it's pink because we use blood oranges. I don't think they're in season right now. There was absolutely none at the grocery store. So you could just use regular orange. Tonight I'm gonna make wings in the air fryer. My favorite, favorite meal in the air fryer. Friday, so it's kind of exciting. Al and I are actually going to a Broadway show later, but before that, I'm going to get ready for the day. I do have a full makeup video on how I do my makeup every day, so if you are interested in seeing 
what I do to get ready, I will leave that video linked here so you can see my everyday makeup. It's a summer rainstorm. The weather has had different plans than I because I wanted to go outside and that's just not gonna happen right now. So my plans today were completely scratched because it is so humid. I was actually gonna go to my apartment and film some reels for the upcoming week and just kind of batch content that I desperately need to do because I was in Wisconsin and it started to downpour and so that plan is definitely gonna go out the window. Instead, I'm gonna share with you some of the things that I'm looking out for fall. But first, I'm going to order some Nespresso pads because we're out of them and sometimes I do like to use them for Nespresso martinis, which is probably not like the best. I probably use like a cheaper brand, but I actually have never ordered Nespresso pods before. I usually get them for Christmas and they usually last a year, but because that Nespresso martini tastes so good i went through them quicker than usual so i think you can just order them online on the website or amazon amazon that's easier i have amazon by the way i just got amazon prime i was using alcenios forever and he's like you need to get your own amazon prime so now that i have amazon prime i'm gonna look up in this russell pod i never realized how addicting amazon prime could be like i got this little row from amazon prime and it's just like too easy. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's kind of dangerous. So let me know if you feel the same way about Amazon Prime. Free delivery tomorrow if I order within seven hours. This is amazing. Add to cart. Yay. Order place. I'm so excited for that. All right. So I don't know if it's just me, but I'm super excited for fall to come up. Like I'm ready for the shackets. I'm ready for leather leggings, the sweaters. I'm I'm here for it all. I'm basically kind of curating my own capsule wardrobe. I'm kind of getting pieces that I can wear with different things, mix and match everything together. I normally go for basically neutrals. So I'm kind of creating like this, like virtual wardrobe, all the things that I have currently in my closet and like seeing everything just like on a piece of paper. You could obviously just do this in a closet, but seeing everything out and you can kind of see like what things that you're needing, need in your wardrobe and everything. So for me personally, I'm kind of looking for a loafer and I found these from Sam Edelman. They are basically a Gucci dupe. Let me show you. I'm looking at these Sam Edelman loafers, basically the same style as the Gucci loafers that are $950. These are 150, so I'm kind of like on the lookout for this shoe. I'm probably going to order it one of these days, but I think this is definitely a shoe I don't have in my wardrobe and could definitely use. I also found these shoes, which I have nowhere to wear these, but they are so freaking beautiful. I'll pop them on the screen, but look at these. Like, where would I wear these, honestly? <laughs> they are just so nice. They are a leather boot. They're from Stuart Weitzman, so they are very expensive, especially for the cost per wear. I do like to keep that in mind. Like, I don't mind spending a bit more on a shoe, especially. Like, I'm a shoe girl all the way. I will spend money on shoes. Handbags, on the other hand, I literally just, I don't. I don't buy handbags. I don't know. They just don't, they don't vibe with me, but like shoes, I'm totally a shoe person. So I don't mind spending money on shoes. Like I have other Stuart Weitzman. I have a whole video actually on my YouTube channel of my like Stuart Weitzman collection. So they do last forever. I still wear my black suede over the knee boots. This is the seventh, seventh year that I've had them. They do need to get cleaned, but I've had them for so long and they are just my favorite. So those are definitely worth the investment, but how beautiful. How cute, honestly. Those are something that I saw. I will leave them linked. If you're looking for a fun going out with you and you wanna rock them for me, I will leave those linked down below. And while it's still summer, I'm gonna wear this beautiful white maxi dress. I actually did not wear it all this summer because I like broke the strap, so I had to give it a little quick sew. But now it's ready to wear. We're headed off to Broadway. First, we're gonna stop and get some food at a restaurant we've been looking at for like ever. So we're excited to check out, I think it's called Mimi and it's a Mediterranean restaurant. This is where we're eating.
Are you ready to eat? Yeah, I'm very hungry. I know, it's so cute. We have like a little table in the corner. So we're like outside, but in the AC. And they have all of my favorite things. Cauliflower, hummus, burrata, tuna tartare, octopus, everything. I want to order everything. Spicy the margarita. Yes, like literally what we, made, what we made yesterday. I ordered a bramble and I forgot how much I love these. It's like a gin raspberry cocktail. Enjoy. Thank you. That looks so good. Gnocchi, spicy tuna tartare, our favorite things. So we've made it to Harry Potter. We're gonna go inside now. By the way, dinner was so yummy. Really cute spot and the cocktails were really good. Are you What's going on? We're inside the theater. It's really pretty. It's very Harry Potter like. The time the cursed child is about to commence. You are seated in the quiet song where passengers are required to switch off mobile phones and any other electronic devices. Cool. The stage and set is like super awesome. They have like real fire. They had a pool. They were like swimming in the water. So I really want to know how they did like the behind the scenes of that. But if you love Harry Potter, you would really like this. And Alan and I are in a cab back to the house. Um, what time is it? It's like 10 p.m. 10:20. That's a long show. I'm not gonna lie. It was started at seven. So yeah, it's it pretty long. It's a long show. <laughs> Up late. <laughs> so I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in next week's video.